All right, guys, my final Steelbook unboxing of the day has to be my most obscure Steelbook boxing um, ever, just due to the fact that I had to do so much tracking down to even see what the hell this thing was. Uh, this is the Metal Gear Solid 2, and I will butcher this, Bondi Deceni. Uh Basically, if you are uh, not Japanese and have no idea what that is, uh, this is the Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 digital graphic novel. came out in Japan in 2008. So this is the Ashley Wood IDW uh, comic books, but with voice acting. So this is the Japanese release on DVD. And some of you guys may have seen this when it came out in 2012 on the Legacy Collection in English. Well, this is the original Japanese version. So uh, Graphic Novel 1 came out sometime um, like 2010 or something. I mean, now probably like 20... Um, 2007 or 2006 probably on the PSP animation no voice acting uh, well this due to the response of it they ended up putting voice acting in both and releasing them on DVD just because the UMD probably couldn't hold that much of voice acting not I have no idea probably could just Konami didn't want to do it um, and so this is the Konami style store exclusive steelbook DVD case of this so I'll kind of go go through the paces while telling you guys about this. So finding this is very hard because not many people knew this ha like had a release because it came out the exact same time as Metal Gear Solid Four. Like literally came out on the release day of Metal Gear Solid Four. So I just recently found out about this and couldn't be happier that I actually a found it for a price that was well underneath what ebay has it because ebay rarely has it nowadays and when they do it's usually around like a couple hundred dollars and i and i it's weird i bought it off amazon it said used but everything was shrink wrapped like it even had a little art slip card so here is the first movie and it is all in japanese but the nice thing is it takes the it's just a straight up rip of the english comic so all the english comic panels that they're reading off of are still in english and then there's two. Really nice, simple disc art. A little bummed out that the inside has nothing in it, but this was 2008. Steelbooks definitely weren't really that big of a thing. I'm just amazed that this was a very random Japanese uh, exclusive Steelbook, but uh, Kojima must be a fan because he, this is, uh, this was the second Steel, well, I guess technically this is the this was tied for Kojima's first Steelbooks. He actually like had a hand in himself, not counting MGS3, because that was like a weird ghetto steel steelbook. Um, this came out in the same day as MGS4, and MGS4 in Japan, the special edition Blu-ray uh, had a steelbook with it, which I should be getting sometime soon. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely wanted to show this off. I have not seen a single video for this on YouTube anywhere. It, it was actually, I, there's so little information about this movie and its steelbook, the original Japanese version. There's so little on there. I had to like tr double and triple check that I wasn't like getting ripped off. I was like, I see JPEGs like every now and then, but like no one who was like, Hey, I got a steelbook. Like I finally like got to the point when I found somebody who had like had a copy. He was like, Oh yeah, I have a weird like metal case for this, I guess. Um, and then I found someone who actually had it. The condition is awesome. It is a glossy finish. Um, you have obviously metal gear Ray on the cover as well as Ocelot, uh, Solidus, you got Snake and then Raiden in the back. Uh, what I find a little weird is, I mean, to be fair, it, the focus of this was Metal Gear Solid 2, so it's not crazy that it's all Metal Gear Solid 2. But since it has both, I'm a little surprised I didn't kind of want to go, like, more of a focus on both of them. But still, awesome steelbook nonetheless. Never in our lifetime are we ever going to get an Ashley Wood art steelbook anytime soon. Um, the only other thing I wanted to point out is here is uh, what was on the back while it was uh, shrink wrapped. So it just kind of shows off what they kind of look like, stuff like that. And then on the back, just a nice little art slip showing Raiden and Snake. 
Really, really cool. I can't wait to rewatch these in Japanese. I've never heard the Japanese um, voice changes and stuff because they re-recorded all the dialogue. Like it would be really easy for them to have just ripped the dialogue from the game, but no, they re-recorded everything. So, really crazy. If you are a Metal Gear fan um, and even a Steelbook collector, like this is rare for Metal Gear standards, and then this is super rare for Steelbook uh, standards. Uh, so, super happy to own this in my collection. Cannot wait to get the rest of my Metal Gear Steelbook collection in. And just a really good way to end my day. Especially after having worked a really long, boring, shitty day. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about this, hopefully I can answer them. Hopefully I already did in the video. If you guys are a Metal Gear fan, definitely uh, stay tuned. I have a lot more cool Steelbooks on the way. Uh, either way, you guys have a good one.